Uh, this will be just a quick video. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it doesn't need to be spent too much time on this. Uh, Nvidia Shield Pro, look, whether it's the Nvidia Shield Pro or your first or second generation Nvidia Shield, doesn't matter which Nvidia Shield. Nvidia Shield, it's one of my favorite Android devices, streaming devices, period. Uh, and I'm not going to spend the entire time talking about that because that's the separate subject, a separate video for me to talk about. Anybody who knows anything about Nvidia Shield, they know it's the best Android device, period. Now, the Shadow. Okay, so this is Shadow. One of the cool things about the Shadow uh, application that's available on Nvidia Shield is the fact that all the games that you have installed will be showing up here, like a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, Flight Simulator uh, 10 from Steam, Predator from Epic Games, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, uh, Modern Warfare. All of these games will be there, will be presented there. Okay? So, and that's the cool thing. And all you have to do is just click play and you're good to go. So if you're thinking about uh, either buying a Ghost Shadow or just... Well, here's the thing. If you want to buy a Ghost Shadow, which is their own dev device that they have. It's, it's an Android device, but it's their device customized to work you know, a little bit better with a Shadow. But if you cannot wait, because they're all sold out and you can't wait... I think Nvidia Shield Pro, it's an excellent choice. And, uh, you know, all the games you have installed on your Shadow will show up here and you're good to go. Plus, you can use mouse and keyboard on your Nvidia Shield Pro. You can connect your PlayStation controller, your Stadia controller, your Xbox controller, your uh, Nvidia Switch controller. I mean, uh, <laughs> Nintendo Switch controller. So it's perfect. All right. So that's what I would recommend. And um, definitely go ahead and uh, try this out, guys. Again, it's a short little video. Nothing too much, you know. Just wanted to show you this a little bit. So there you go. There you have it. And also make sure that you use 5 gigahertz router. Uh, instead of 2 gigahertz. Guys, I've been checking some things out. I've been doing some tests today a little bit. And the uh, conclusion I have come up with is if you're going to be using cloud gaming to play video games, make sure you have a 5 gigahertz router. Forget about your modem. I don't care how good your modem is, you still need a router. Okay? Because your modem is going to be a bottleneck. When you put so much stress onto it, you want to make sure that you let your modem breed and use the router. 5 gigahertz router, get yourself a 5 gigahertz router and enjoy it. Alright, so well, just a quick video. I hope uh, this helps and uh, I'll see you guys later.